Hello YouTube. Uh, here's another update. This is a uh, this is a new one for me. Um, I purchased a Soval SV06 uh, for a friend of mine's kid, and I ended up getting shipped two for some reason. So I took the second one, and I've been uh, doing some modifications to it. Um, I've already actually pre-modded it with the stock hot end, but I decided since I actually already had all the extra spare parts from uh, some of my Vorons to implement uh, some of them into this build. So to give you a rundown of what's been done so far, um, I've exchanged all the uh, bearings in the rods on the X and Y axis uh, to the solid uh, dryland rod uh, bearings, the uh, ones from Misumi. And now instead of feeling the, it felt like the bearings because I opened them up and I repacked them and put them back together from the, the factory ones and they were still quite they were quieter still crunchy feeling um, and when I took a closer look it looked like they might have been missing bearings in in most of them like that the gap between the end of the row and the beginning of the row was too much so I just replaced them with with solid bearings instead. Just it just made more sense. Uh, they're dry. There's no oil to add. Uh, they ride they ride smooth on the on the on the rods like they're supposed to. Other than other than obviously you can feel the mo the stepper motors, but that's normal. I've also replaced the stepper motors because um, I had them. These are uh, some LDO motors. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, they're all the same. They're all 1.8 uh, steppers. All four. I've replaced all of them. Um, obviously, the extruder stepper gets changed because the stock one on the tool head for the SV06 is actually a square pancake uh, stepper with one of those extended uh, um, rods that goes through the end because you have the little wheel you can dial. So um, I've printed out a new holder for the Stealth Burner Clockwork 2 mount that mounts onto the existing. Uh, I guess they call it uh, some sort of, it's a, a slide box, I guess is how it's, how it's referenced. Um, I've wired in the existing probe, the inductive probe they were using. And all, all the wiring's been done in the tool head. It's the same um, stealth burner PCB, uh, the little, the little uh, I think it's version 4. That's going to go into the 14 pin. Harness from Lineo. Um, this is the one for the Trident. Since it's going to be shorter, I'm going to I'm going to cut it and use the remaining wires as all the jumpers. This um, the power supply, which normally sits here, and the controller box, which normally sits where now I have this new cable channel I printed out, are going under the bed. I've already added a deck panel for the top, which is already mounted. And that's mounted by these little blocks that I printed that actually, these, they screw onto the back of the existing uh, mounts that screw in from the side. There's still threads left over. So these are um, four by six button heads. And that's what holds these in place. And then I'm putting a pair, uh, four 2020 extrusions and they're gonna mount parallel on these 2040s from underneath. And that's gonna create the framework from under. And then they're going to sit on some slightly modified uh, Voron skirts and, lit and feet from, from a Trident. So, and then uh, I've made the side skirts, which are meshed. And I've also made front and rear skirts. Rear skirts, I've relocated the power supply power switch from the existing power supply into this side. And that's going to go in the back. Um... These are the fronts, which I implemented the Soval logo into them. Same thing with the Stealth Burner front, I also in integrated a logo into that. And what's going to happen is I'm going to mount the power supply, which is the new Meanwell 350 watt. I'm going to mount this on this DIN rail underneath upside down. And the same thing for the Manta MP5, uh, M5P motherboard. Now I already had this all configured and running stock. So what I did was I left the existing factory uh, ribbon cable harness in with everything plugged in so I can keep track of which ports I'm going to be going back into. 
And when I cut this 14 pin down and I and I resize it, I'm going to take the remaining amounts of uh, spare cable because it's going to be plenty. Plus I have extras. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wire jumpers. And those are going to be wired off of... See here. I, had a, I had a couple of spare LDO breakout boards, which normally you use in the Vorons. So those are gonna, these are going to jump off of this to the main board, similar to how you would you would wire a Voron or any other uh, user user built 3D printer. Power is going to be junctioned with uh, Wagos. So and then uh, I'm going to reground the entire chassis because factory there's no grounds. Um, as a matter of fact. The resistance isn't great on the factory power supply because the power supply itself is anodized black on the on the the extrusions and the only ground in the entire system on that is coming coming from this to the power supply and that's it so nothing else is grounded so once i'm done and i get this ground to the chassis I'm going to run separate little grounds to all the motors, all the motor blocks, because these are all these are all bolted on with plastic connectors. So I'm going to do a little jumper on each motor block as well as the chassis, and I may run one more, but I probably m might not need to do it. I haven't really decided yet, but I may run one more up the same um, harness uh, to the to the to the stepper motor up top, but I haven't decided yet on that one. But either way, it needs a better ground, um, that's for sure. So some things I've added as well as there'll be a little 60, I think it's a 60-40 fan or 60, no, this is a 60-20 fan. This is going to be the what cools the, uh, the motherboard, the MCU. And I have a, I can't remember which kit this was, but... It wasn't that expensive. This is just the under deck. This is the under deck power uh, wiring harnesses for. Uh, I want to say this might be the Trident kit or the 0 0.1. I can't remember. I got this just to make the power the power runs easier, so I don't have to screw around. I also get all the extra ground wires, another safety ground for the frame, so I don't have to go making them all. Power to SSR. I'm not running an SSR. I think this is. I think this might be a DC bed. So uh, controller to SSR is not needed. Um, PSU harnesses. PSU to controller is needed. Power inlet plus the Legos. Um, the power inlet's actually already kind of wired, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use out of that. But the Legos, I'm probably definitely going to make use of. And then, uh, what is this one? Oh, this is just extra stuff like zip ties and the little um, wire management bases. Pick that up. So I got those, which is uh, which is going to be handy. And uh, other than that, I've got like some odds and ends stuff printed out. Um, a lot of the stuff actually can be used from the Voron builds under the deck. Because it's going to be similar. It's just going to be a smaller deck. It'll be like a Trident 250, but a slightly smaller Trident 250. And a bed slinger. So, um, but the MCU and everything's already been configured. It's all Clipper. It's all latest latest hardware. I've split the, the two z axes to independent steppers. Um, and everything else, is, it's already been tuned. Pressure advance, E-steps. But that was on the other head, head, so I'll have to redo that on the on the new print head. And then um, I think I'll wire in. I have a lot of spare neo pixels, so I'm going to wire in some lighting up around the gantry as well. And since the stealth burner has also lighting in the print head and in the logo, um, those will all be wired to I think. Let's see here. It's a couple couple headers in here on one of the sides, but it's got two RGB headers. So I'll be able to wire it all in fairly, fairly simply. Simple. So uh, I'll get that done as soon as I can get those extrusions in. That's the only thing I'm waiting for is extrusions. And then I'm going to decide whether or not I keep the light blue front rears that I kept. I might, I might remove these or I might at least square them off more. I think maybe if they were more square, they will look 
maybe a little less cheap because they do have kind of a, the stock ones definitely have a cheap look with the little emboss i mean i did you know the, the uh, sv06 emblem into it but um you take them off it looks a little more utilitarian and then of course all you have left for blue on the front and rear are just the little accents on the bottom of the feet and i uh, i also have the uh, little rubber amp the little rubber amp feet that go on those as well so um hopefully i can get this done this week and then uh, i'm going to leave the uh, the HDMI 5 screen mounted on the side. I'm not going to do that in the front. I don't want to over overthink it. There's, there's really no need. So I'm going to put that there. And then uh, that's it. Hopefully I'll get everything all wired and done by the end of the week as soon as I get those extrusions back. Um, I got a buddy of mine cutting up a set that I gave him. But he's been kind of tied up at the shop. So... Um, I ordered another another set anyways on the cheap. I think they were like nine dollars per pair cut. So and there's nothing there's nothing I need to do that's special on those. So other than that, that's uh that's pretty much what I got. So it's just a little short update on where things are. Um I expect to have this thing fully up and running by the end of the week. My future goals are to take these Y extrusions and flip them over to the outsides reprint the motor mounts um not mirroring them but 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 changing the axes of them so they remain in the same location just on the inside of the printer so i won't have to change out the gantry or any of that stuff and then uh, i want to build an enclosure around the whole thing like a normal like even even maybe even a switch wire style would even work uh, for the size uh, would probably work out and then didn't just fully enclose it at that point I will probably move the screen f from the inside to the outside but since all the electronics will be underneath with their own cooling it's not going to affect any of that which is nice um, but it won't make any sense to have the screen on the side anymore and then I might mount it on the front and redo the two the two front pieces um, these would just have to basically be cut in half, about I think about half of it, and then there'll be a standard Voron HDMI 5 mount in the front. I think there's a couple of those on printables, so I'll make one. It doesn't really matter. It's not good. It's not all that hard to take this type of setup as is and and just merge an existing bracket onto it so it can mount in the front. It's very easy to do. Alrighty guys, if you have any questions or thoughts or comments, go ahead and post it uh, below the video. Alright, bye.